Sydney. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I have a fall favorites video for you guys and this is just going to be a haul of all the things that I have been purchasing for fall. I've had the shopping bug this fall which I do all the time but for some reason fall just motivates me and I feel like fall motivates you guys too. It's just like finally colder weather, more clothes, a little bit more creativity, so I love that. And I've gotten so many amazing items this fall, so I can't wait to just share a little collective haul for you guys. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like fashion content and styling content, just vlogs, just lifestyle content in general, then make sure to stick around. And you guys can also always follow me on Instagram at Sydney Rickasner if you wanna just keep up with me and see what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with shoes. I have five pairs of shoes in this haul, guys, but I have really been focusing on building a better wardrobe with more shoes that can go with different outfits because I just find myself wearing like Air Forces all the time, which is fine and I love that, but I just, I wanna elevate a little bit more and shoes are expensive. So it's easy to just go with like a pair of $90 Nikes, but whatever. So the first shoe that I have are these New Balance 990s version five. And you guys know these, you've seen them everywhere. I feel like my muse for these is Matilda Jerf. If you guys follow her, she has the most amazing style and I love when she wears New Balances. Um, they've been like, on the dad shoe trend for a while and I never really pulled the trigger on them because I just feel like every time I see these it's either a trendy person wearing them or it's literally a 95 year old man on a walk outside so I'm like okay <laughs> I don't know if I could commit to these but I do feel like they're super cute and they're really comfortable um, so I've been really loving these the next shoe is the Nike Lahar low and these are women's exclusive I believe um, um, but I am obsessed with this shoe, you guys. It's pulling extremely like stony purple on camera, but it's really like a neutral, muted, beigey pink in real life. But I love these, and I have been seeing a lot of people wearing them. If you guys follow Emily LaFitte, she is a stylist here in LA, and she styled, I think, the founder of Frankie's Bikinis in these with just like jeans. I cannot wait to style these, you guys. So I might do a styling video on these, but I really love them. I think that they were only 90 bucks, so they're really not that expensive. They, um, I think that they're dead stock right now, so you probably would have to get them off of Go or StockX, but they're really not that expensive. Even resale, I think it's like 120 bucks, so they're not too bad. But for fall and winter, I just love these. Like, if I go on like a little mini ski trip or like just something outdoorsy, I feel like these would be super cute. The next pair of shoes are these Nike Jordan 1s, the high tops and i love these i forget what these are called they might be called like sage something i forgot but they're being linked down in the description along with everything else but i really love these because i love green and i love a good neutral sneaker and i just am obsessed with sneakers obviously and these ones are really cute they're gonna be dead stock again i got these a while ago um actually in store at nordstrom uh, but i haven't worn them yet obviously but they're beautiful and they're just perfect. So I love um, Jordans, I love ones, just because you can style them really easily. And they're obviously very much in style right now. The dunks, the ones are just like really, really popular. And if you look at like women's or kids, it's usually more of an affordable dead star price versus like some of the men's like super popular ones that everyone likes are gonna be like, like the mochas, you guys have probably seen them. They're like brown, black, and white. They're like resale $600. And I feel like these resale are probably around 200, so they're not too bad, but I really love these with just like black jeans, black jacket, black shirt, black sunglasses, all black with these for winter. I feel like that's just so cute. And next we have a pair of high top chucks. 
these are always going to be my tried and true. I feel like there's just certain things that are like your personality and I feel like a pair of high top chucks are very much so my personality, especially these 70s version. If you guys are going to get a pair of high top chucks, do not get the regular ones. Get the set or the size. Get the 70s. They're called the Chuck 70 and they're like the retro version. They have this cream sole and the cream laces and they are so much cuter than the classic converse if you like the classic converse well that's fine but these ones i prefer i think that they're like 85 dollars which is the original ones are only like 40 so they're definitely a lot more expensive but they are more fashionable okay they are the same ones that the comme des garçons converse are they just literally don't have the heart on them and they're probably 75 dollars cheaper but i love these I um, have always had these, but lately Emma Leger and Sophie Sushuan, I don't know how to say her name, but they are Vancouver vloggers and they are always wearing these. And I take so much inspiration from the two of them. They always look so cute in them, so I love these. Okay, and the next sneaker are these Veja, Veja. Let me know in the comments how you pronounce it because I'm not entirely sure. But these Velcro ones, I got these off of Revolve and I feel like they are so cute. They're like a, um, not a smooth leather, but kind of like that pebbled leather finish. And they have the Velcro and they have a little green logo on the back. And I love that these are like a cream shoe. I feel like that's very much on trend as well right now with like the New Balance 550s and also like the Reeboks. Um, it's just like a cream sole is really on trend right now so i love that these have that um and i just feel like they were super cute they're kind of like a modern take i feel like on the stan smiths which i used to wear into the ground those were like my favorite shoes back in the day um so i really love these i got them off for ball i got them in my true size which is a size eight and they are a little bit small they say to size up um but i didn't then they're still fine to wear but definitely keep that in mind if you wanted to get these but I love them. I feel like they're so cute for fall. I have now worn them with my Aritzia effortless pants um, and then like a white tank and an oversized blazer. I feel like that was just like the cutest outfit ever. And then with jeans, these look so cute too. They're just like perfect casual and I love the Velcro. I don't know, some people hate on it, but I feel like it's super cute. Okay, so next is a clothing item I've really been loving for the fall. And this is a fleece half zip from Aritzia. This one is called the Rush Sweater. I love it so much. And I feel like these fleece jackets are really on trend right now. Um, they feel like they went out of style a little bit. Like back in the day, we used to wear like the North Face and like the Patagonia Columbia fleeces. And I threw all those away. And now that these are back in style, I'm like, okay, I literally should have kept those. But even this with um, jeans and those Veja sneakers, I feel like that is just so cute. I've been obsessed with this. It has like, you guys can probably see, really, really nice fleece and a beautiful cream. You guys know I love cream. I'm literally wearing cream right now, but it's perfect. So I definitely recommend like a fleece zip up. I can link some other ones down below because I feel like it's a really good on trend fall winter piece right now, but that you can also keep all the time and keep you warm consistently. Okay, and then next up we have an accessory. So these are a pair of Saint Laurent sunglasses that I got right at the beginning of fall well right at the end of august i got these for myself as a birthday gift but i love these these are a style that i have seen on everyone maggie mcdonald um hayley bieber ariana grande everyone wears these and i see why because they're literally so cute so i can kind of try them on for you guys but i feel like they're just the perfect pair of sunglasses. And I feel like I really haven't had a pair of sunglasses that I feel like totally complement my face shape. Like I have a very round face, like I have soft features. And so I was like wearing like rounded sunglasses and not necessarily realizing that like my face needed like a little, you know, like it was just, everything was round <laughs> and that wasn't cute. So. I really love these. I think they were $3.95. I got them at Nordstrom, uh, but they're well worth the money. And I also feel like they're like on Amazon for cheaper. I'm not sure if those are real ones, but I don't know when I put these on, I feel 
cool so i love these and i love that they're all black i feel like they're perfect and also i was wearing them a lot um like in the beginning of fall but i definitely feel like they're a really good winter piece because of like the all black cat eye shape okay so now i'm moving on to like body care hair care and home products i have this candle and i am a huge candle girl my mom is like obsessed with candles and i feel like i definitely inherited that trait from her because she loves them so much and i swear that these are the best candles you guys like i really love diptyque and that's definitely a big favorite for my of mine but i don't necessarily like love the packaging like i like the packaging but i like how this is more understated and these candles are the brand lafco you can get them at bloomingdale's on neiman marcus um and then you can also get them, I think that they're on Amazon or just like straight from their site, but Neiman Marcus or Bloomingdale's is probably the best to get them. Um, they are just really pretty, like a single wick, very nice, um, just like glass blown type of candle. And they smell so good. They are $68, which I feel like is a good price um, for a candle that lasts so long and that smells it smells so good like it literally smells like luxury if you know what i mean and this is in the scent chamomile lavender and they also have a smaller one which is 45 so if you are not too sure um then i would recommend that you do a smaller one but just take my word for it these are like literally the best smelling candles ever 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 and they have a good variety of scents so i really love these and i feel like on my coffee table this just looks so beautiful Okay, and then the next kind of accessories that I have been loving are these new rings that I have gotten from Missouri, and I love Missouri. They are amazing, of course, um, and they have really amazing quality jewelry. If you guys watch my channel, then I know you guys are familiar with Missouri, but I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through if this focuses on the new pieces that I got. I'll probably just end up doing a close-up, but the first piece is this croissant pinky ring. I got it in a size four, it's 14 karat, and I am obsessed with it. I have been really trying to step up my ring stack. I like a bit more of a minimal look, kind of like on my chest for earrings, and then for my ears, I will never not wear <laughs> these chunky hoops. Um, but yeah so the croissant dome ring and then also i got this london dome ring which is really beautiful it's just a classic 14 karat dome and then it has a diamond star on the front and it's just so pretty i love the chunky gold with the diamond accent versus having like an all diamond ring i don't know i just feel like that's not really my style i like more gold than the diamond just to have it you know like stand out on my fingers more and then i have this solo diamond ring i believe it's just a plain gold band with just a singular um diamond in the middle and then i just wear it stacked with a um diamond stacker that i have which is from 14 carats and i've been just obsessed with this stack lately and then on this finger i just have one but this is just the majuri classic stacker and i love it i love majuri they are amazing amazing and i think that they're gonna have a sale coming up soon for black friday so you guys should definitely check out majuri my next fall favorite is actually a perfume from Dossier, and I want to thank Dossier for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I love Dossier, you guys, because they bring you a really luxury scents at an affordable price point. All of their scents start at $29, and I think they go from like $29 to $39, so they're super affordable, and they are all inspired by high-end luxury scents that range anywhere between like $100 to $500 really really expensive and if you're like me i have a hard time committing to a scent just because i want to try different things and it's harder to try different things and find what works for you when it's at like such an expensive price point so i love dossier because it allows you to have a range at a really affordable price and they always have really great bulk deals so you can buy three and get a discount and it's really really great and they always offer free shipping and free returns which is amazing because when you're ordering online especially for a scent you really don't have any idea like 
truly what it smells like so if you get it and you don't like it you can exchange it send it back for free and it's just like no hassle no big deal at all so the scent that i want to share with you guys is ambery saffron and this one is inspired by the famous baccarat rouge 540 which is a very expensive scent i think that the little tiny bottle is about 395 dollars but it is a beautiful famous scent that i think rihanna wears and this one you guys smells just like it it is a beautiful scent it is very feminine and sweet but it's not sweet that like makes you like ugh, because you know like sweet scents I feel like are a lot this one is just pretty and I feel like it just attracts like good vibes and like happiness feeling for me when I smell it I'm just like oh my gosh so I will read you guys the notes because I feel like that's a lot easier than hearing me try to terribly explain it so the top notes are saffron orange blossom middle notes jasmine and plum cedarwood and base notes oak moss fir balsam and amber it just smells really natural sweet and beautiful and i love it so much i will have dossier's website and this specific perfume linked down below for you guys and you can use my discount code sydney michaela 10 for 10 percent off your order okay guys so next products are shampoo and conditioner okay so i have curly hair and like i obviously grew up watching youtube so i have been like tried and true to like a curly hair regimen for a long time and i just feel like it just had my hair just so greasy or not greasy so dry and just not good because i was using like drugstore products which are fine and they're great but i really wanted to invest this fall into like a really good shampoo conditioner body wash lotion just like something to really take care of myself so on sunday like when i do my full routine i can feel like refreshed and just clean and beautiful and luxurious because it's all about self-care and making yourself feel good so these are the ones that i got this is the oribe signature collection and so i have the oribe signature shampoo and look at how beautiful this packaging is i feel like that's like part of the reason why i was like totally <laughs> sold on this but i love it and then i also have the signature conditioner and i got these both at nordstrom um I get everything in Nordstrom, um, but I feel like they smell, not I feel like, they do smell so good and it really lets your scalp be cleansed um, with just using minimal product, you guys. Like I have a lot of hair, it's thick. And even just like a little bit of this conditioner goes like a really, really long way. Um, and same with the shampoo and they are pretty steep. They're $50 each, but I only wash my hair like once a week so I feel like for me it's okay <laughs> because they're gonna last me a long time because I really don't wash my hair as often as some people but I love these great brand and it just makes me feel luxurious every single time I get to wash my hair okay so staying on the self-care shower routine I got this bath and shower gel from fresh and it smells so good you guys it is in the scent citron de vigne i don't know but it really smells really good it has kind of like a lemon scent it's like a lemon honey scent and i love this it lathers really well like on a loofah it was 23 dollars, and i really just feel like it's very hydrating um and leaves my skin feeling super duper good which i love so much and the scent is amazing but love this one okay and then this next product is a body butter and this one is from clinique it is the deep comfort body butter and i love it so much because it's fragrance free i feel like fragrance lotions really break my skin out i have very sensitive skin so this one is fragrance free but it still has like a shea butter type of scent to it um like obviously natural scents of course but i love it it's like super thick and whipped and i just have been obsessed with it i think it was around 30 dollars, but again i've been really trying to invest in great quality body products to make myself feel better on sundays when i take a shower but i really have been loving this one and i definitely recommend it okay so last product i want to share this is the charlotte tilbury luster 
lip gloss i believe in the shade pillow talk and you guys know about pillow talk it's like one of the most famous lipstick shades ever and i always thought that it was just too light for my skin complexion but this with their foxy brown lip liner which of course i cannot find for this video has been my go-to combo it's beautiful it is really like a perfect match to your lips it was $22 i got it at nordstrom and i've been wearing it every single day i used to really love the mac lips lip gloss the lip gloss but i just like it left residue on my lips and it was sticky and i didn't love it but this one is moisturizing i think it has a little bit of hyaluronic acid in it but i love it it's just like so beautiful and the packaging of course is like stunning so love it you guys those were all of my fall favorites all the pieces that i have been loving this fall i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys